By now, it's become more or less mainstream to have a solid state drive or SSD in your computer, or even your phone. <laughs> and why not? With their fast response times and, more recently, falling costs, they're often recommended as the best single upgrade the average user can make to an older machine. But most SSDs are based on a storage technology called NAND Flash, which has actually been around for decades now. And as we demand faster speeds and storage solutions that can handle tons of requests at once, which is especially important for all those cloud-based services that we love, this aging technology will become more and more of a bottleneck. Enter Intel Optane, a new, fundamentally different storage tech based on what Intel is calling 3D Crosspoint. Although they're treating exactly what sorts of materials they're using in 3D Crosspoint and how they're arranged as a uh, top secret, what I can tell you is that Optane has a few major advantages. First up is latency the delay between an I.O. request and the drive acting on it. Although Optane's latency isn't as low as the cache on your CPU or as low as your system RAM, it is much lower than any of these existing storage technologies, and yet Optane's data density is much higher than RAM, meaning that it can be deployed as either RAM-like working memory or even as longer-term storage due to its combination of quick access times and high capacities. On the subject of using Optane for storage, to be clear, it won't be replacing the mechanical hard drive anytime soon. But unlike RAM, its non-volatility means that it can retain data for a relatively long time without a constant supply of power. And it's faster than even the fastest NAND SSDs across the board, including in the small random reads and writes at low Q depths that account for the bulk of the average person's usage, not just in cherry-picked benchmarks that don't reflect the real world. In fact, Optane can hit close to 100,000 IOPS at a Q depth of 1 and over quadruple that at around Q depth 8. Not Q depths of 32, which many SSD makers advertise, but which virtually never occur in real life. Optane also provides much better quality of service, meaning that random dips in performance are far less common, and it can handle many more transactions per second, so performance doesn't degrade nearly as much even when the drive is getting slammed with I.O. requests. This could end up being very important on the server and cloud side of things, meaning like uh, video messages or controller inputs in Cloud games could go in and out more quickly and reliably if these enterprises started using Optane. And it looks like the technology should catch on due to its lower cost per transaction. Optane's ability to be used as high capacity RAM could also make it a compelling solution for things like machine learning. Think about developing software for self-driving cars, for example, and scientific research, where having a large pool of working memory is more important than having it be as fast as possible. But Linus, come on. I'm not a scientist researching artificial intelligence. I just want to know how I can get this stuff in my home battle station. Well, right now, the only Optane product available on the consumer level is an M.2 Optane cache solution, available in 16 or 32 gigabyte capacities, that places frequently used data, like operating system files and save games, onto the cache automatically, which in some situations is faster than running things off of an SSD, even if your main disk that it's accelerating is a mechanical hard drive. There is a catch though. You'll need a supported platform, namely a KB Lake or newer CPU and a 200 series or newer Intel chipset, as the company 
didn't want to do the validation and testing on anything older, or for that matter, <clears throat> anything AMD, opting instead to tell consumers, we know this hardware setup will work, so use that. The good news is that this Optane cache drive looks like it's going to be supported by nearly all major motherboard manufacturers, as well as the big boy OEMs like Dell, HP, and Lenovo. And there's more good news. Assuming you've got the uh, <laughs> dollar dollar bills, there will be a full fat Optane storage solution that will function as a normal drive over a PCI Express slot or a U.2 port without needing a specific motherboard. Though uh, high capacity Optane drives in an M.2 form factor probably won't be available anytime soon due to power and thermal concerns. So then, that's today. But Optane is so fast that it currently saturates a PCI Express 3.0 X4 connection, which has a theoretical max speed of a little under four gigabytes per second. So at some point, we should expect to see new interconnects and protocols that can fully harness the potential of Optane. Whether you're modeling the best way to build Skynet, coding a real world matrix, or you're just worried about Google Chrome loading a few fractions of a second more quickly. Have you ever thought to yourself, gee me, it's 2017. Why don't I have a website about that thing? Whether it's the small business you run or the little league team you coach or just the, you know, cool, you know, facts about dogs that you think everybody should know. Well, there's pretty much no excuse because Squarespace lets you do it inexpensively and it's super easy to use. It starts at 12 bucks a month and you get a free domain thrown in if you buy Squarespace for the year. They've got 24 seven support via live chat and email. And all you gotta do is pick out one of their gorgeous templates Typeity, typeity, type away all the copy you want on the site, throw in the images you want, and boom! You've got a functional website that looks and feels great to use, and if our experience is anything to go by, never goes down, because Squarespace is all about ease of use and reliability. So try it out. Head over to squarespace.com. We've got that linked in the video description and give it a try. They've got a 14 day trial that costs you nothing. Then when you decide to sign up, make sure you use offer code TechQuickie and you'll get 10% off your first purchase. So thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, like it. If you don't like the video, put it up your butt. And if you wanna leave a comment suggesting a future video, then you can leave a comment down there. Also, don't forget to subscribe.